water, Juan Villarreal. When I watch Juan, I just go because he's bringing that, and at the same time, he's mashing with black folks and white folks, so his comedy is universal. He walks up into a mostly African-American setting, and he says, hey, I'm coming with comedy because it's universal, and that's what it's all about, showtime. This next comedian that I'm about to bring to the stage hails from Houston, Texas. He has a comedy record of numerous shows and numerous standing ovations. He is pound for pound one of the funniest Latinos in comedy. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage Juan Villarreal. Ladies and gentlemen, you've seen him on Showtime. You've seen him all over the world. Please put your hands together for Juan Villarreal. The funniest vatos around guarantee you. Please welcome Juan Villarreal. What's up, fuckers? <laughs> keep it going one more time for Cedric, please, man. I know y'all clap, man, but you know, keep it going for Cedric, man. Trying to get a mess, get some money. And I want money, man, because I've been poor like for a long time. I know you fuckers see me on BET and I've done some shit, but don't let that shit fool you, people. I still got co-signers and shit. <laughs> My caller ID says out of area. I don't answer that shit either, bro. <laughs> that shit says unavailable. I'm unavailable too, then. Don't answer that shit. <laughs> and you know what's funny about being poor? Some people don't even know they're poor. You know I mean, some people don't even know what poor is. They think they're poor because they can't like travel every other year or buy a bigger house or buy better jewelry or some shit. That's not poor, fuckers. <laughs> poor is when the light company comes to your house at night <laughs> and they blow out your candles. <laughs> we said no lights. Woo! <laughs> them motherfuckers ain't playing, dog. Put that shit out. Put it out, dog. Put it out. They ain't playing, dog. Where the fuck game up? <laughs> That's poor, fuckers. And you know what's good about being poor, though? You can get on food stamps. Now listen up, fuckers. If you ever need assistance, go get it. That's your money. Don't be ashamed to get it. Get your shit. I was on food stamps for four years, and people tried to make fun of me. You're not embarrassed to say that? I'm like, no. But you're on TV. I don't, fuck, I don't care. Like, I was on them for four years. And as a matter of fact, those were the best fucking four years of my life. I was like, bitch, I was barbecuing every weekend. While you was at work. <laughs> and when you got food stands, you spoil yourself. You barbecue shit you can't even afford. Barbecuing ribeyes and sirloins and shrimps and shit. Sausage. That good kind, that Eckridge, that $7.99 a packet kind. I ain't talking about that ghetto box of hot leeks shit at $1.99. You're like 500 leeks for $1.99. I remember them ghetto barbecues. I remember that everybody got to put in two, three dollars and you fucking barbecue the same shit, that big old bag of leg quarters. I mean, no white meat, be a leg in the thigh, leg in the thigh, leg in the thigh, leg in the thigh. And then, then you got fucking people that don't like people on food stamps. My uncle was like this. This fucker come by at lunchtime. Try to fuck up my shit. I mean, he get off of work and I'm trying to come to my house. Hey, come on, Juan, I got your job. Let's go right now. I'm in the hiring $10 an hour. I'm like, hey, hey, relax, fucker. I'm like, dude, I just woke up, dude. So I was barbecuing late last night and shit. You can't be coming here. I got a job for you, goddammit. Right now, $10 an hour. Did you want to work? I'm like, well, shit, I'm on food stands right now. <laughs> see, I'm still certified for three more months. Motherfucker, that's 12 barbecues. I'm cool, I'm straight, I'm straight. Oh, he gonna get mad. You see, you see, I hate motherfuckers like you. You're fucking up our country. People like you are lazy, you don't wanna work. I work every day. 20 years, rain and cold, I'm sick, I don't care, I work. I pay taxes for motherfuckers like you. And I'm like, well, you know what, deal? Your lunch break is over. <laughs> you better get back to your job before they fire you and you end up fucking up my shit. <laughs> I depend on people like this fucker. He fucking with my stems, bro. What's up, fuckers? <laughs> San Francisco, man. This is like my third time here. Thanks a lot for all the love you fuckers show me all the time, man. I get weed. I get invited to barbecues. You know, you know, I'm from Texas. I'm from Houston, Texas. And you know, Houston, that's cool, fuckers. But you know, I'm kind of like jealous of you guys because you fuckers ain't got no roaches here. 
Those big old roaches, fuck, you barbecue all like who's though you're comfortable and shit. In Texas, we got these big old fucking roaches, dude, that, that, like they punk you. They scare the shit out of you, bro. You could be a grown man, it don't matter. When these fuckers start flying, they scare the shit out of you. You be a grown man fighting a fucking roach in the kitchen, you know? Pinche cucaracho. Oh, shit. It's on me, it's on me, fucker. Then, then if you don't kill him, you can't even watch TV comfortable. You're looking for this fucker all night. You're watching TV, you see something over here. He's coming back, fucker. He was mad, bro. He's coming back. And you know what, dude? We were kind of poor. My dad couldn't afford that raid. That shit was like $6 a can. My dad was killing roaches with that cheap-ass hairspray, Aquanet. <laughs> Pinche Aquanet. My dad will put a piece of bologna or weenie in the living room. The roach will be getting close to it. My dad be standing in the corner. He looks around, makes sure it's not an ambush. The roach will get real close to the bologna, whatever. My dad, huh, cabrón? The roach will just get mad. He'll be like, oh, that's some bullshit, man. That ain't even rain, fucker. That's, that's Aquanet. The little pelitos be all hard and shit. I can't move, bitch. There's roaches stuck in the refrigerator, the table. We're going to kill that motherfucker, dude. I've been here three fucking days, man. My dad be talking shit, get out on. You're not going nowhere, fucker. Mira, super hole. <laughs> Strong fuckers, dude. That's why we smoke weed. When you're poor, you got to get high, dude, so you can laugh at shit like that. Because then roaches were fucking scary, dude. And white people, they can afford a pizza raid and roach motels and all that expensive shit. We couldn't do that, fuckers. Aquanet on. My dad picked him up with a newspaper. I'm like, I'll see you tomorrow, cabrón. But they're going to come back. Can't get rid of them. And I don't like to fly no more, man, because, you know, that the terrorist shit happened. That was kind of fucked up. But it's funny, man, because, you know what? White people, I'm from Texas. White people, they want that, man. I hope I get on a fucking plane like that. I'll fuck them motherfuckers up. And they love that shit. Mexicans, when Mexicans fly, man, they're nervous. My Mexicans, they fly, they, they, don't, they just sit there. They don't look around. They don't want shit. They just sit straight. They don't look. They try to give him a free penis and shit. No, no, it's okay. I don't want no. Go ahead, go ahead. I don't want shit. Go ahead. Air conditioning. No, it's okay. Get them in. No, go get them in. Quit, quit fucking around already. You imagine one of these fuckers with a box cutter jumping up? Okay, God. Hey, give me that shit, man. Quit fucking around. There's no carpet here, bitch. There's no carpet. Quit fucking around, man. And I'm from Texas, dude. I'm from Texas. You know there's going to be a big old redneck behind me with a big old belt buckle talking shit. I got your back, Juan. Come on, son of a bitch. We'll fuck you up. You're fucking around with that bullshit. I got some black friends. I got some black friends. I don't know if they'll take off their belt. Because black people, you love your clothes. They'll be like, come on, fucker, you gonna help us? Shit. This Versace. I'm still making payments on this motherfucker right here, though. Shit, I'll hit him with the seatbelt or something. The UFO thing, bro. I've been doing this for a while. The UFO thing, that's a white thing. Black people in Mexicans, we don't see UFOs. And if we do, we don't tell nobody. But, hey, hey, fuck, hey, get away from that shit. That ain't none of our business. Go home, puto. Go home, go home, go home. White people want to go up to it and take pictures and shit. P point at it, Bubba. They be on TV explaining. Well, I don't want to see a Mexican explaining. White people be on TV, man. Mad than a monk because nobody believes them. Man, I swear to God, that son of a bitch is floating right there three or four days. Going around my trailer, round my trailer. I'm trying to walk. Ain't that right, Mary Lou? Mm -hmm. But you know what, dude? I figured it out. Aliens don't take black people and Mexicans because they're scared of us, bro. Because it'll be a different story. Can you imagine that shit? Let's say the aliens came down and fucked up and took the wrong black dude and the wrong Mexican. Like two of the baddest fuckers from Biloxi, the baddest black dude and the baddest Mexican here. Fucking, let's say Pepe and Leroy. <laughs> These are the baddest fuckers, bro. They're the baddest fuckers in the hood. And they get abducted. And Jose is explaining to the gang, hey, fucker, Pepe and Leroy, they're gone, bro. What do you mean? Bitch, they're gone. The aliens came, they're gone, bro. And you saw this? Bitch, I saw it. The aliens came, the little like, ooh, they're gone, fucker, forever, bro, forever. We gotta get t-shirts, bro, and memory, bro, pictures and memory, bro. And memory, bro, they're gone, bro. 
You know, 30 minutes later, Pepe and Leroy will be flying back in. Ooh. Hey, we robbed them fools. <laughs> Check it out, bitch. This shit is ours now. You're freaking out. You fucker stole a spaceship. Fucking Leroy Howard it. This fucker's an ITT graduate, bro. They don't fuck around. And then you gotta ask yourself, okay, fuckers, you got a, a spaceship. Are you gonna, like, help our scientists study the universe and shit? Are you gonna let them fly around the window? Hey, 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 shut up, fucker. We can't tell people we got a UFO and shit. We tell people we got a UFO and then we gotta fucking buy insurance and inspection stickers, all that bullshit. <laughs> can't buy that shit, bro. Fuck that, bro. This is what you do, man. When a cop pulls you over, don't do shit. Sit in your car for, like, two minutes and ignore his ass. Don't even look at this that I'm not. <laughs> then with the attitude, you can be like, what? <laughs> what? I can't hear you. I can't. I'm bilingual. <laughs> He's going to be outside talking shit. Migo, roll down your fucking window. <laughs> Bentana Pabajo. Bentana Pabajo. That's when you sit there real cool, you're like, the window is broken. <laughs> you're gonna have to walk your fat ass over there and wait for me. <laughs> He's gonna get all mad trying to ski with a gun. Get out the fucking car, amigo, come here, come here. You can do it again, fuckers. You just sit there, you're like. <laughs> the door is broken too. That's why the window don't work. None of this shit right here works. You got to walk it fat away and wait for me. And while he's talking, just go, ah, slide over. Now look, when he walks around and he gets to this window, he's going to be real mad. So when he knocks, you got to laugh a little bit. <laughs> wait a minute, fucker, wait a minute. And then you slide back to your other window and you look at him and just roll that fucker down, dude. I was fucking with you, bitch. Come here. It's all come here, fucker. Look, come here. He's gonna kick your ass. I'm just playing. Look, 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 look. Somebody film me. I was in jail calling everybody. I was in jail. <laughs> I did it, dude. <laughs> nah, bitch. I got stitches and everything. They kicked my ass. Well, they don't fuck around in San Francisco, dude. They were tripping. Call grandma to her to get me out. I was at the hospital, man. I was handcuffed, I had stitches and shit. I was in the hospital to the bed, handcuffed for like 18 hours. And they were hating me, dude, all the cops. You know, there's some cops that watch you. When you get arrested and you go to the hospital, they, they sit there and they watch you. And I'm fucking, I gotta pee and shit. Like, Excuse me, sir, can I use the restroom? I gotta pee like real bad, man. And he's like, the restroom is broken. <laughs> you gotta hold that shit, motherfucker. Think that shit's funny. <laughs> Bitch.